hello and welcome in this video let me show you how we you can customize and create your own spline example in electric dreams environment setup so let's start so i created this basic level so i can show you how we created just go to edit one so now you can see each and everything is separate and each asset has been taken from mega scan and this tree is i taken from uh, common hazel so now we have to go back sorry okay so how you can create a small level and from that we can create a spline example with the help of that electric dream environment setup so just start with this so i have created this so after creating you have to select all the so just take a minute so i have to show you how we have to create so first of all after creating this uh, small environment just select all the things or assets just select it and right click on the select assets just go to level and create level instance just do it here you don't have to change anything just click ok and name it so i already created this one so just replacing with it so now you can see it's a single level so if you deselect or anything you can see it's a single level if you want to delete delete it you have to bring it back from this level so be okay just see everything is there so now what we have to do just go to new road or whatever name you are going to give just go there select it and put right click and go to scripted asset access just go there and select pcg level to pcg settings just click on it and it will create another pcg settings so now what we have to do uh, we have to go to our electric dream pcg folder so pcg folder go to graph and here you can see the spline example folder just go inside that and just select it and drag in your folder in which you have created the basic level just drag it and option will come move here copy here or advanced copy here just put copy here and you have to go to your folder just go there you can see that spline excel has been here just double click on this and you have to delete or you have you can uh, move the notes and all to select all the things just keep it aside now you have to bring that pcg setting which we have created just bring it here and instance new pcg now what we have to do we have to connect the root to get this attribute and same thing we have to do with this attribute. Now select the point and connect it with SG copy point with hierarchy. So here copy uh, uh, select and put it in copy point source. Just put it here. You have to you can see it's connected to copy point source. So here normal basic thing is done. Now we have to save it and minimize or close nothing to so now we have to finish with creating one blueprint class just click on it and take one actor you have to name it as bp new road so now the actor has been created 
just double click on it and act will open and here we have to add one spline through which we will work as a road or want to create like that so just add it a spline first of all we will add one spline so add it then again we have to select pp new road self and add one tcg just add it and just select the pcg and here you can see in details and scroll down and we have to add what spline example graph we have created just select and drag it and put it in the graph now you have to just compile it here all the things are done now you have to go to default scene root and you have to select the actor again same thing we have to do in spline also just go to category and select actor now again you have to do compile and just save and minimize it now keep it aside this one now what we have to do we have to bring what bp new road which we have created just now just bring the bp one select your spline and just bring it here again to press alt and again you have to bring it here now again press alt and again bring it here and now it's look like too much copied thing and lights are not getting passed through that uh, trees and bushes so what we have to do just go to spline example graph and select spline sampler so and come to distance insertment so here it will do uh, only 512 is the default one just go and increase the now you can see if you put in thousand also it will be looks good now you can see it's perfectly created and looks good also now if you want to change the shape or if you want um, uh, road going up on small hill or any thing like that so you have to just select any point and move it to here it will, you can see it will take that spline shape only if you putting upward also that also good but we put thousand for the distance spacing so this gap will create it because I'm stretching the spline so now what we have to do we will adjust that one later just select this one this adjust the spline you can put any side this side also possible some roads are like that so just again you have to go to spline example and select the spline sampler and if you put the uh, press D on spine sampler just you can see how many points debuggers there so you can see these are the debug points which are taken from spine sampler so just select and press D again to switch off the debug option now we can decrease that little bit also uh, 
let's go for 950 yeah it's fine or if you want 1000 that also fine so if you put less uh, number of uh, distance between these uh, two things what you will do it will create one gap so better you, you can put thousand it's your choice what you because uh, the level will depend on these things this is fine for me so now you can see that road has been created so this is a small tricks which i want to show you so that's will through this process you can create a small uh, village road or you can create a city road also same with the same process just uh, let me minimize this one okay this looks fine yeah it's fine for me just save it and close it you can see it's created a road environment okay select this one it looks fine because selected see will create the environment after this you have if you want to put uh, hills or anything mountain top something like that so you can create easily from this same process just create your own label that's all so thank you guys that's it for today see you in next video bye